In this video, we'll be going over some of my PDF processing tools. Right now, I have the software Adobe Bridge opened up to a PDF that I'd like to process for Chief Architect. I'm going to right click on this file and choose Open with Photoshop. This will bring this in where we can see a set of actions built into a folder called Rabbit PDF Processing. If I click the down caret, the first item here is change mode to RGB. Oftentimes when I get PDFs from clients, when they open them up in Photoshop, they're going to be in a mode called bitmap. I need to first convert them to grayscale and then to RGB color. This action takes care of that for me. So I just need to click the play button at the bottom of my action window. Next part is thin lines with input. Sometimes we get a PDF that has a lot of noise and I'd like to despeckle. Thin lines is a great way of processing this out. I'm going to take my marquee selection tool and draw a marquee selection over the areas of this PDF that have a lot of noise. That selection made, I'm going to go ahead and press play on my thin lines with input action. I'm going to bring up a user prompt. The user prompt will show you an example based on your cursor and clicking into the drawing. So if I change the radius here, you can see here, got rid of a lot of noise in that area. I can click around, see different areas. I'm gonna go ahead and click cancel and zoom in a little closer. This can be helpful because the preview window of this action Show you more of the drawing. You can zoom out from this window. So now with this selection still made, you can see that a lot of these lines are a little bit thinner than the rest of the drawing, but we've gotten rid of a lot of the noise. Now we can go to the next action, thicken lines with input. This will give us the inverse of thin lines. I'll leave it at this radius, press OK. Wrong's looking pretty good, already cleaned. Control D to deselect. I have two more actions. They both do the same thing, but with different methods. I'm going to go ahead and press play and show you what it does. The command set is not currently available. Let's hit continue. So you see our white background now disappeared for this checkered pattern. That means that this image is transparent. And we've also changed the black lines to a bright green. This next action is resized to 2K, which means a 2K resolution. Currently this PDF is at 7K resolution. It has a lot of detail in it, so I'd like to keep it at that resolution. Our last action is divide into grid. Divide into grid will take the slice tool and create a grid pattern of slices onto your sheet. And then it will prompt you to export so that you can export quadrants of this PDF, which is helpful if you need to scale parts individually. I'm gonna go ahead and click Control Shift Alt W to export this. Make sure it's a PNG with transparency selected. Then I'm going to hit save. Back in Adobe Bridge, I can see here's my file here. I'll drag it into Architect. Next step is that I want to scale in Chief Architect. So with my PDF selected in my edit toolbar, I'm going to use a point to point resize tool. Select a point and then select my next point using a 3D mouse so that I can pan out to see the dimension that I need to input, which is 75 feet. I'm going to leave retain aspect ratio checked with the hopes that this drawing actually has a correct aspect ratio from width to height. Now I'd like to check that dimension. I'm going to use my L key 
to initiate the line tool draw a line start with this point here and over to the other side and hit tab it's going to give me 75 feet pretty accurate that's okay i can hit my shift z key and draw a marquee over the end of this dimension string hit my l key again and start another line i'd like to check this length as well you can see here some of this drawing was askew hit my tab there we are 48 feet very close something i like to do is if i have a drawing that has a bit of a skew to it i might control alt c copy control v paste hold position now I can drag this image off the screen a certain distance by holding my left click, dragging, and while I'm still holding my left click, hitting tab. I like to move it over a set distance, 100 feet. I'll have to remember that. Of course, if you have a couple different software, it's called Sticky Notes, and always on top, you can set a sticky note. So that it's always on top of Chief Architect, and I can put my 100 feet here. Let me turn off my drawing sheet so we can see. Next part is I might need to rescale parts of this drawing. If I drag in my side selection handles, I can clip this drawing. And then I can resize from the corner edit handle. Similarly, if I shift select, I get some additional options as well. That's it for this video. Thanks for tuning in.